In this series of videos, we are going to talk about data visualization. Why to visualize data? To share the inside the main idea in a very intuitive and fast way with your audience. I like the citation from the data viz world. It says the purpose of visualization is insight, not the picture. And to share that insight, we need to follow some basic rules of data visualization. Let me demonstrate some on a Google Trends. Google Trends is a service where you can uh, check some statistics on search queries. And uh, here I want to see uh, the statistics on queries that contained Harvard Word. It's uh, worldwide and uh, are over more than a decade. And first graph that we see is a line chart. And uh, it's essential um, way to represent time series. And time scale is uh, usually on the x-axis, the horizontal axis. The line usually represents the continuous data. And in case you have more discrete data, for example, annualized data and just several years to show, then it's better to use uh, the bar charts. Now, what else do we have here? Some uh, maps, and it's essential to represent uh, uh, regions, data among regions on these maps with a color scale. And uh, in case we have some categories of the data, uh, the information could be easily represented with uh, uh, horizontal bars. It would be a good idea to check uh, the industry leaders or information agencies, how do they visualize the data. And in my case, it's renewable energy field, and one of the known uh, reports is a report on uh, renewable energy investments in the field. And uh, here, for example, we can see that analyzed data is represented with uh, vertical bars, and then uh, categories are represented with horizontal bars. Let's return to Google Trends now and see what uh, would happen if we add another series. Very essential with the line chart. We simply have different uh, colors for the lines, then two colors um, for the maps. And uh, when we are dealing with dashboards, it's good to have consistent colors for the series of the data. Now the categories of data are represented with uh, one uh, bar that represents 100% and the share of each, uh, of each data series uh, in the total. And the same data is also shown with the pie chart. With pie charts, one should be careful because it becomes very difficult to perceive uh, when there are more than three data series.